your mind And tonight I'm alive in a dollar sign Guaranteed I can blow your mind And tonight I'm alive in a dollar sign Guaranteed I can blow your mind Hey, what's up, you guys? It's me, JSH DIY, and you guys are watching the Happy Side of YouTube. I'm super excited. I get to hang out with you guys. If you guys want to find out today how to make no glue slime at home that works really well, watch till the very end of this video. And that brings me to Notification Squad shout out. I'd like to thank my subscribers for subscribing, so shout outs today go to Sadie and Singers Rule the World. You guys have been asking me for a very long time to test out a hand sanitizer slime recipe, so today I'm going to do so. I got this hand sanitizer right here um, from Bath and Body Works. It's this unicorn one, I guess. This is a one ingredient slime recipe, so all you have to do is add in your hand sanitizer to your little container. I'm just using this old candle container. To make it a little bit cooler looking, I'm just going to add some of the shade shifting rose gold glitter into our hand sanitizer so we can have a glitter slime if this works out. And now you just want to mix it up a ton. And all those hand sanitizer slime recipe videos, I always see them mix it up a ton before they put it in the refrigerator. So I'm just going to mix it up a bunch so there's some air bubbles. I'm actually going to go put this in the refrigerator right now and I'm gonna leave it in there for the rest of the day so that this really gets solid and slime-like. This is what the slime looks like after being in the refrigerator for six hours, which I guess isn't a full day, but as you guys can see, does not turn out like slime. It's still hand sanitizer and it didn't work for me. Now we're gonna test a clear shampoo slime recipe. My mom actually picked this shampoo up at Target for me to make slime with for a video, so we will see if it works out right now. I'm gonna start off by adding a bunch of it into our bowl. I think I'm just gonna add in the whole bottle so we have a big batch of clear slime if this recipe does work out. Now the recipe says to add in some hand soap and I have this one right here. I'm just going to add in a little bit because the video I saw on YouTube, they only added in like a spoonful of the hand soap. So I'm just going to add in a little bit. And now we are going to stir it up. As you guys can see, it is a light, I guess you could say jiggly slime texture. And the final step is to activate it. So I'm gonna activate this with some salt and let's stir it all up. Okay, as you guys can see, it has a really thick texture, but I feel like if we leave this out for maybe an hour or so, the texture will thicken up even more. So I'm gonna let this dry a little bit so it's a little less sticky. We'll just put that there. Here is our slime after an hour of letting it clear up and I guess dry out a little bit so the texture is thicker. As you guys can see, the top layer of it is super dry. It still looks kind of sticky, but we will feel it with our hands to see if it has turned into slime. It is sticky, but that is kind of typical for soap slimes. Combination of the two soaps and salt, I definitely would say worked. It definitely made slime, and I really, honestly, am a big fan of how this slime turned out. This next recipe I think was sent in on Instagram by a user that will be on the screen. For this slime, I'm actually going to try to replicate this video I saw on Instagram of this clear slime. So I'm going to divide this soap into two so that we can color it two different colors and we will mix them together at the end. Okay, I'm gonna add in a little more of the like shampoo oil stuff. I'm not sure what this stuff is. It's by the coconut brand. I don't even know if it's called coconut. I just, everything says coconut on it. So I have my two like shampoos divided and now I'm going to take my food coloring first starting off with the pink one and my camera literally will not focus. So I'm sorry about that. And I'm dyeing the second one green. These colors aren't dark enough for what I was wanting them to be. So after we make them into slime, I think I'm gonna add in more like food coloring. The recipe then said to add some facilium husk. So I am going to add some of that in and now we just have to let it sit. So I'm going to let that sit for a while. This is what it looks like you guys. After letting it sit for literally, probably only like 20 minutes. I was so surprised because I definitely thought for sure it wouldn't work because it had it set for long enough. But as you guys can see, it worked really well. It was really liquidy, but as you can see, there's a few little chunks of slime. So this recipe was so cool and I was so impressed.
And I am sorry, you guys, if you can hear my cat purring. She was up on my set today, so excuse me for all the purring sounds. Now it is time to assemble the slime. I also made a little bit of blue slime for the base, so I'm just going to add in some of the blue slime. I used the same exact recipe if you guys are wondering. Because these slimes weren't stretchy, I decided to add these slimes into little bowls and microwave them with a little bit of water so that they'd be a little bit stretchy. They were super sticky after that, but I thought they looked cool and I added in a little more food coloring so the colors would be vibrant, as you guys can see. I'm now gonna add in the pink one and we will do the little swirl. I was picking up the hand sanitizer for the first recipe at Bath and Body Works. I also picked up this soap because I thought it looked super cool and metallic. So we are gonna see how we can activate this soap and turn it into slime. I'm super excited you guys, because it looks so pretty. I ended up deciding on some cream of tartar because I thought it matched the texture. So I'm going to mix it up. And as you guys can see, instantly it started turning into slime. I have never made a cream of tartar slime like that, where it just like turns into slime right away. But as you guys can see, this turned out really well. And that was the last recipe for this video. I love you guys so much, and I had a great time with you guys today. If you want to, you can totally subscribe to me, as well as go follow me on Instagram at jfg.diy to check everything out there and really. Yeah, I like family. I love you guys.